Hi everybody. Today we are going to make an art journal page that's made easier by Stamperia Collections. We're also going to use a gel print as an Insta background. Here's a gel print that I created in my latest gel printing video using two plates. And I'll put a link to that video. I absolutely love this. The teal against the orange coral background. So I quickly grabbed it and I'm gluing it on with matte medium, gel medium, onto my 7 by 10 Canson Mixed Media Art Journal page. It's almost the perfect size as I use the 8 by 10 gel plate to create it. Cutting off the excess. Now I'm going to be using the Sir Vagabond in Japan collection. I have the scrapbook pad 12 by 12, both stamp sets as well as a stencil. Now I admit I had put this gel print on this page and it sat there for quite a while and I was unsure what to do. So when you are unsure because you love it so much, you need to add something to it. So I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to add black or white. And in this case, I'm adding black. This stamp has Japanese letters on it. I'm not looking for the perfect stamp. I'm looking to add some patterns, some details, some grunge to my background. This one is a cherry blossom stamp from one of the sets. This entire collection I got from Ninny's Napkins. There is a link in the description box below and a coupon code. Loving how that black is adding the contrast and adding a lot of interest to this background. Now, if you're unsure about what color scheme to go with, use the color schemes that are in the scrapbooks. That's one way to use them. Flip through the pages. Look at the patterns that they use. Look at the colors that they use and borrow those ideas. Be inspired by them. Here I'm using these Japanese symbols, letters. I'm not sure what the correct term is and I'm stenciling it on. These are giving some bigger, bolder letters and adding more contrast to the background. I love this stencil, that magnolia blossom on the side. I, you will definitely see me doing this. I love, love, love magnolias and I will definitely be using that. Whether it goes with the Sir Vagabond series and elements or whether it's going to be a springtime thing, I don't know yet, but it'll happen. So I'm adding the symbols. And at this point, I don't know what focal image I'm going to use. I have no definitive plan. I just wanted to make an interesting background. Now, instead of using the stamp of the girl that comes with one of those stamp sets, I chose to use one of the girls from the scrapbook collection. And I chose this one because of the size. I had got some free printables of these fans and I'm thinking I could do something with that to beef up and the focal image. And I could put the three fans like this. I can, then I thought, oh, I can put them around and make kind of an umbrella. Some kind of design element that's going to add to my focal image. Then I have a littler ones and I thought, oh, I could give her a fan. So once I'm pretty sure about what I want to do, I'm going to glue all the elements down. And I'm using TCW gel medium in the matte finish. These scrapbook pages from Stamperia, the weight of the paper, they glue down so nicely. And I'm getting a good coat of the matte medium on top because I'll be shading it later and I want it to be non-porous. So once that's dry, I want to make my focal image stand out more. So I am shading 
using my shading technique. I'm shading on top of the image, just tweaking it a little bit, as well as on the outside to make it stand out from the background. And if you go back in time and see it before I did any shading and see it when I finished the shading, you'll see that the difference that makes. You can do a wash of color and tweak the colors or even change the colors of what's what they've given you. I thought of doing a wash of more the teal or the aqua to make it stand out a little bit more, but then I decided that I liked it just the way it was, which is the black here. I add a little bit of the shading and then I let it dry. Then I come back and I add more if I need or if I desired more. Then I wanted the umbrella to stand out from the background as well. So I am shading it, just adding that little bit of shading, softening the edges, making it stand out more. So this is a good trick, adding that umbrella or design element to my focal image, made my focal image appear bigger, gives it more weight. That's a good trick that you can do at any time, no matter where your focal image is coming from. Here I'm going on the outside of the umbrella, on the gel print. This is making that just pop off the page. Then I'm going around the girl as well, since I like the effect of that. All that shading with black really ties in with all the stamping that we did in the black. Now, if you didn't have a gel print that had the colors that you want, you could make it. You could start your background from scratch and use the colors that you want. Recently, I did another Japanese inspired page and I will put a link to that video as well. I've been really inspired by Japanese art lately in colors and, and designs. So in all likelihood, you'll be seeing more. I'm edging the page using the shading technique as well. This frames the page and just makes everything tie together. So the only color I've added to the background is black. So that's why I call it an Insta background because it was just pretty much good to go. A little bit of stamping because I to tie in with your theme. But using gel prints or collage papers is a good, great way to jumpstart your creative process. Now that umbrella or design element, whatever you want to call it, was very white. It's just on white copy paper. And since there's no other white on the page and I'm not adding any white, I wanted to make it tie in with the background, which has a little bit of yellow in it. So I'm painting it out with a wash of unbleached titanium. Ivory would work here as well. I just didn't want the stark white. I could have also done that in gold. I think that would have looked nice as well.
And of course, after every step, I do dry completely. I wanted to add a motif and design element onto the umbrella. So I grabbed this stencil from the crafters workshop. It's called Posies in a Row. And you've seen me use this numerous times. I've been reusing it recently and it was out and I thought it's the perfect size. So I'm just going to use it. I'm gonna add this floral motif using coral paint that ties in with the background. And this really made my background and part of this focal image now work together. And then I decide to paint out the middle with that coral paint as well. And then I need to do a little bit more shading. So every step you do kind of helps you dictate, dictates the next step. Do what you know, and then wait to see what the page is telling you to do next. Decided now that I have the focal image in place, I wanted to add some more of these symbols. So I'm just coming and stenciling more. When I first stenciled this on, I didn't have a plan. And now that I do, I can just go in and tweak the composition. Adding more of the cherry blossom stamp. These are mixed media stamps. They do not stick to a stamping block. So if you want them to be on a stamping block, you need to glue them down with double-sided tape or painter's tape, or use them like I'm using them here, which is how they're, I think they're intended to be used. Some of this with the symbols, I think I could have gone in with some black modeling paste. I think that would have added some texture to this page. I don't really have texture, physical texture on this page, so I could have done that with modeling paste. If I was doing this on a canvas, that's what I would definitely do. got carried away with the symbols so I decided that I am going to put a sentiment on there although I did consider not doing it I'm kind of cutting this out I'm getting rid of some of the excess white but I am leaving the sentiment basically together when nothing goes right go left And this comes from my Embrace Possibility sentiment pack. And all my sentiment packs are available as well at Ninny's Napkins. So you can check them out there and see which pack has quotes that work for you. Gluing that down with the matte medium. I 
and of course it's white so I need to paint it out just like I did the umbrella or design element with the unbleached titanium and I dab off some of it because I, I don't want to cover up the letters but they are somewhat muted and I like that effect because I don't want the letters to be the boldest thing on the page I want the girl to be that And I'm shading around here to make this stand out from the background. Thank you so much if you are a subscriber to my channel. I appreciate you watching and commenting on my videos. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. That way you won't miss any. Just adding a little bit of black detailing here. And a little more doodling. It's amazing how once you get started, how a page where you have no idea where you're going to go takes off. And you can see in the, up here, you can see the details, the stamping. What interest that adds to the background. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give something like this a try. Until next time, go get creative.